Well, hello there. I'm Ranger Cookie. And I want to show you this camp I have found uh, during the hurricane season. I came to Mississippi and I found this homeless guy. He needed uh, a push. So I asked him some questions and I said, you know where some old camps are at? And he brought me here. You should have seen this place. If you like, go to my Facebook. If I can, I'll link link the the videos of it to this video and i also have no internet so when i do upload this video it might be a hundred years old um right after hurricane about two weeks later we have no internet so i don't know when this is going to be posted so let's go over this place really quick if you go to face my Facebook, you see trash all over. This place was full of trash. Let's go over it real quick, show you what it's all about. And when I, uh, what I did, I came out here to start cleaning. 38 bags of trash. Like I said, go to my Facebook, you see all the trash that has been removed. And whatever I can keep, I piled it up take a look at this uh, nice little camp this was all messed up um, they had trash all in here and there's rottenness wood so I took all the wood all the trash out and hoping it would dry out and, and kind of cure this wood before it rots and I'm gonna try to get a roof on this thing I got I, I don't have many plans with this it was just a project the old saying goes if you find something um, if you go to a camp or park, leave it better than it, it was. So, my motto is that. And if I don't stick to my motto, what is my mottos or my, my, my goads? If you have that goad, you go to a camp and you find a camp's messed up or park, clean it better than it was. I right, this was totally trashed out. It had holes everywhere. They still got holes out there, but you can't see the trash that was out there. But I try to put it in some holes that this person just dug. For I don't know why he dug all these holes. Uh, I know one day he was on uh, he was on the good stuff when he built this. Now just imagine if I got me a cast iron stove or pot belly stove, whatever, and put it right there and had the pipe sticking out. That keep you warm at night. He built this little fire pit. He built all this. I just clean and organize and fix. Some of these things were all knocked down. There was a hole full of trash, so I buried most of the trash. Found some chairs. So he did this. He put nails in the tree, which I would never do. He just killed the tree. I'll tie it and untie it after so many years. And he made this little walkway. He goes down and goes over there to a chair. I don't know if it's on that hill. Yeah, it's right there. There, right there. Right there. There's a chair. So I get, it's beautiful over there. You can't even see this camp from over there. You could have saw this camp almost a mile away with all the trash. I met this thing was full of trash. And when we go over here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. He dug all these holes. And th I meant this whole area was trashed. And I put all the stuff in these holes. And later on, when I get a chance, I'm going to bury it. Or try to bury it. Just like the, a dump hole. All this was trash. Trash all the way there. I mean, it was thick here. And pieces then and there. I went out there and grabbed all that. Um, my first day was 38 bags and this is my second day out here really yeah my third day out here there was a hole there I buried some trash uh, he had wood everywhere so I made two piles of wood one over here one over there and not many bags this, this time I think 13 so here's the question Ranger Kiki what is the heaviest trash particles you pick up Usually books and magazines is the heaviest. Then cloth or blankets or, or jackets. That's the second heaviest, especially when it's wet. 
Um, what else is the heaviest? Then after that, the trash is easy to pick up. So organize everything, find some good stuff that I can try to use right here. Oh yeah, I need to go grab my garbage bags that I got from Walmart. And a couple chairs were out here, buckets. He had tons of buckets. Nice chair, so I sat in it. Got some rest and you know, looking around, see what I'm gonna do for the next project. I had to go through those buckets. I know there's something important in those buckets. That's why they're there. Didn't go through them yet. Um, there's a barbecue pit behind this. Uh, he nailed it to the tree, which I would never nail a tree. Because you can kill the tree and you know, grow around. And all this stuff was out here. I didn't bring nothing out here yet. I found some tools. That's about it. I mean, this person was on the good stuff. But I tell you what, this is the best homeless camp I ever found. All the homeless camps I've been looking, uh, I looked at. This is the best homeless camp I ever seen built. Um, this whole area was trash. And what I did is built irrigation for water. So the water won't run into the house and break down the foundation. Most people don't think about that. So when you build your camp, I know why he built it here. He could have built it over there or over there. It's flat ground. But uh, he's on the good stuff. And there's Moo Moo, Puddles, and Derek. Alright, this video is way too long. Oh shit, it's only six, four minutes. Damn. But I've been cleaning here, busting my ass. Those saying, when you find something, make it better. And I'm gonna try to put a roof on that. All right. From here we had the blankets. I try to, I can use certain these, certain these, certain, these blankets could be as insulation to fill that up. Mosquitoes wasn't that bad last time I was here and they're kind of really a little bit worse today I'm just getting hit and hit you know time to time hit there hit there no big deal all right I'm the Ranger Kiki and um, I hope you enjoy the cleanup go check my Facebook for the updates of this area because it was horrible all right Ranger Kiki out rough